Hey everybody, this is Travis, your manufactured home nerd. Going to be doing a tour of the raw hide today. I want to thank y'all for watching with me. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you enjoy seeing my videos. And once you subscribe, you'll be notified when I post a new one. I'm going to be trying to post two every week. Sometimes it might be more, sometimes a little bit less. Ivy's going to be joining me sometimes. Don't forget to comment and let me know what you like about this house or what other homes you'd like to see. So we're looking at the raw hide. It's a 28 by 56 box built by Cabco Homes of Boaz, Alabama. You see the vinyl siding, upgrade LP shutters, thermopane windows with the screens, and of course the blinds on the inside. Y'all don't forget when you're looking for your homes, to make sure it comes with blinds. Some of them don't. So you're gonna need to plan accordingly for your budget. Here's a little exterior light there. And just a really good profile on the front here. Got the steel door, 36 inches. And a little knocker on there. They do have different door options you can choose when ordering a home. Now we did have some furniture, but this house is going away soon. They closed on it yesterday, so I wanted to do one more video just to show kind of what the house looks like. Make sure everybody's refreshed on it. Coming into the living room here, you see there's no carpet. I'm gonna get a little profile shot so you can see how big it is. Two big windows, curtains and the blinds. Got the rough cut crown molding there. You can see some of it here on the wainscoting in the dining room. Get a little closer look. It's a really nice feature. Of course, you can do the standard white crown molding as well. It also frames out your doors. And so just looking at your large living room, got the ceiling fan built in. And there is your wood burning fireplace with the bookshelves on either side. Room to fit a 65 inch TV above it. And you can wall mount one that's bigger if you like. A bit closer look at the fireplace there are options there little holes on the side that you can drill out if you wanted to place propane or a gas inset built-in bookshelves got the plantation look tool very pretty don't forget let me know what colors you'd like on this house too if you want to change anything there's the guest bedroom another large window a lot of space in there a large walk-in closet guest bedroom number three those are wired and braced for a ceiling fan and the lights there if you want to change that out. I'm going to come in so we can kind of see the closet. It's a little dark, but you can see how large it is. Lights will be going out on this house probably the next day or two before we break it down. So I wanted to get done beforehand. All right, we got a nice little cabinet stack here. Right outside the guest bed bathroom. Perfect for toilet paper, towels, whatever. You know, I don't know if y'all seen these doors yet. That is a solid wood door. Go ahead and knock on it. You can hear how solid it is. Custom made for each door here. You, of course, can do the standard white doors if you like, but those are a nice upgrade. This is your standard fiberglass tub shower combo. Little transom light above. Now, if we build this house as a 32 wide instead of a 28 wide, you can fit the bigger Vanderbilt tub. You got a ceramic sink. And more storage underneath. And, of course, you do have shut off valves there as well over here on your toilet you have a shut off valve there those are very key to the safety of your house all right now after leaving the guest bedrooms go back to the living room here that's your master bedroom we'll check that out in just a second you see your large dining room area step back a little bit from that window unit keeping this house cool for us to tour got room for a large dining room table if you like Opening to kind of a horseshoe shaped kitchen. Get the built in on the right here with cabinet stacks around your refrigerator. Making sure you have plenty of storage for pods, pans, cereals, whatever, what have you. Also got a lot of doors all the way around and a lot of countertop space. Now you also have this beautiful pantry. A lot of shelving, room for crock pots, rice cookers, blenders, extra coffee makers that no longer work like we have in my house. You'll see you have a ton of plug-ins here. Now, of course, when you are ordering this home, you have the option of upgrading the appliances if you like. You do have a black side-by-side, -side, but they also offer the stainless. You have the coil top range, but they offer the smooth. And then you have your upgraded dishwasher. And they have the stainless steel sink here. They now have a gunmetal color that is really beautiful. I'm sure y'all seen it in some of the other homes. And we got the large island. Now, right there off the dining room is a 
Pretty big utility room. You got room for an extra freezer in here, as well as shingles like we had for when it gets trimmed out. And your washer and dryer space here. And that is wider than normal, so you can have some space, maybe put a folding table on the side there, built-in shelves around it, and a little plug-in for a freezer, whether it's a stand-up or a deep freeze. You got some extra room in here. And then, of course, there's your furnace slash AC, and your water heater goes right there. They do have a full-size breaker box, which allows you to add extra stuff to the house if you need to. All right, let's go check out this master bedroom. Now, I'm sorry I missed having all the furniture in here where you can see how massive of a bed we fit in here. It had a king-size bed that was on this wall, but we still had room for a chair, a dresser, and you probably could have fit more in here. So we'll come back this way so you can see a little bit more. Now, instead of having the rough cut crown molding throughout the house, we have plantation molding to match the doors and match the cabinets that are in the bathrooms and in your kitchen. So you can see how that looks. Gives it a nice little offset color. It's really pretty. About half of my customers love these wall colors and the colors came all together and the other half just really can't stand them. But it is one of the most popular layouts and it looks really sharp when you do white cabinets in the kitchen and some of the gray wall colors. But of course we can do painted sheetrock in this house as well. Now this tub is very deep. It's easy to soak in and just rest after a long day. Two sinks with a large space in between. Fit all your shampoo bottles, whatever you need. And of course they got the nice vanity lights up above. Make it nice and bright for when the missus puts her makeup on. Little toilet there in the corner. And then there's a four foot fiberglass shower. Now, if you're willing to sacrifice your tub, you can fit a larger shower in this house, but we also can upgrade it to where you will have, if it's 32 feet wide, you have a bigger shower. You see our lids there, that's when we get ready for travel. That way we're able to make sure that they don't fall off and break. Now in this master closet, there would be a door right here. Once it's trimmed out, we haven't put that in yet, but here you can see that you have another cabinet stack for more storage. The plantation shelving, which is just gorgeous. Longer space there where you can fit dresses overall and solid shelving up above so you can put shoe boxes or whatever you need. And then here we have the double shelving, some more shoes, pants on the bottom, shirts on the top, whatever you need. And then even more shelving over here. I had a guy the other day tell me this would be his timeout spot. He just put his recliner in the corner when the missus was mad at him and go hang out here. I thought that was pretty funny. Well, guys, this is the rawhide. It is going away, but we do have another one we'll be setting up soon. The next one's going to be a wind zone two with plywood floors instead of the OSB floors standard. And we'd be glad to show it to you. A couple things I might not have pointed out. This is individually hand laid tile here, so it's not linoleum. You can do it throughout the house for an upgrade charge, or you can do the carpet in the living room if that's what you prefer. There are a ton of customization options when it comes to Cabco homes. We can redesign the floor plan, move the island, change up the, the cabinets, whatever you like. If you prefer the refrigerator where the stove is and the stove where the refrigerator is, we got you covered. I'd love to help you design a house or help you just make a plan for your budget. If you have questions or anything like, uh, just need some guidance, please give me a call, 318-487-1819. I can deliver anywhere in the state of Louisiana and parts of East Texas, South Arkansas, South Central, West Mississippi. Uh, Y'all guys have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know what you think. Have a great day.